नमस्कार मेरा नाम डॉक्टर रेड्डी है वर्किंग एज एन कंसल्टेंट क्लिनिकल रेडिएशन ऑनकॉलिस्ट इन डेनवैक्स वसंत विहार न्यू दिल्ली में एज दिस इज अ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर अवेयरनेस मंथ वी आर डूइंग एपिसोड्स ऑन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर अवेयरनेस एज माय कलीग्स हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोक अबाउट स्क्रीनिंग प्रिवेंशन इटियोलॉजी एंड डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट मोटारिटीज एज पर स्टेज प्राइमरीली ब्रेस्ट कैंसर स्टेज इंक्लूड स्टेज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर वेर आर स्टेज वन एंड टू आर कंसिडर एज एडली ब्रेस्ट कैंसर and stage 3 and 4 are considered as locally advanced breast cancers and metastatic breast cancers uh, coming to stage 1 and 2 uh, early breast cancer treatment modalities the primary treatment approach should be surgery surgery is again is of two types one is breast conservative surgery and the other one is total radical mastectomy breast conservative surgery includes uh, to remove a lump uh, which is called lumpectomy and to spare the entire breast and total radical mastectomy includes to remove the entire breast along with axillary lymph node sampling or dissection coming to stage 3 which is locally advanced breast cancer here the tumor uh, usually present with more than 6 cm of size so we'll take up the patient first for neo adjuvant chemotherapy prior surgery uh, to shrink the tumor and to make surgery more easier and feasible to attain negative margins and uh, stage 4 uh, we have very few treatment options with surgery and radiation but then hormonal therapy targeted therapy and chemotherapy and immunotherapy should be the primary treatment modality uh, which will uh, improve the quality of life and which will increase the survival which will also helps in progression free survival and irrespective of the stage let it be stage 1 2 3 or 4 post surgery the histopathology report and erpr hormonal her2 status will decide the future course of treatment which includes chemotherapy radiation or hormonal therapy or targeted therapy if the patient is erpr positive the patient is taken up for hormonal therapy which includes aromatase inhibitors like letrozole or selective estrogen receptor modulators like tamoxifen and uh, <clears throat> along with erpr sampling we also ask for her2 new sampling if the patient is her2 new positive patient is advised to undergo targeted therapy which includes trastuzumab or pertuzumab what is basically erpr and her2 her2 is a human epidermal growth factor where it is basically an uh, membrane tyrosine kinase oncogene uh, which is usually over expressed in more than 20% of the breast cancer patients where it is gene amplified and once it is activated it provides the cancer cells with potent uh, proliferative and anti apoptotic signals which help the cancer to grow more rapidly and more sustainedly and to inhibit this particular protein we do have monoclonal antibodies called trastuzumab or pertuzumab along with all conventional therapies there is also a role of dendritic cell based immunotherapy basically chemotherapy will destroy the normal cell and the cancer cell as well but unlike immunotherapy is targeted which will go act only upon the cancer cells and it will go act only in tumor micro environment if the patient is undergoing chemotherapy along with chemotherapy if the patient is undergoing dendritic cell based therapy to improve his immunity and to reduce the toxicity which is related to cytotoxic chemotherapy and also it helps to avoid recurrence and relapse rates uh, in the future course by 50% i hereby request all my fellow oncologist and breast cancer patients to avail this autologous and personalized dendritic cell based immunotherapy which will uh, improve the patient tolerability related to toxicity of cytotoxic chemotherapy and it will also decrease the relapse and recurrence rates by almost 40 to 50% i think this uh, video is informative thank you denvax for giving me this opportunity i request all my uh, fellow oncologist and uh, breast cancer patient to avail this uh, autologous personalized treatment and to educate and encourage patients to avail this personalized treatment which can be a life saving event for a breast cancer patient thank you for giving me this opportunity